Hello world, this is Mark A. Gunnels, your sports reporter and music analyst for BSO. Today I'm here to talk about the top 10 rappers of 2015. Yes, it was a very bizarre and crazy year, but the year belonged to no other than future Hendrix himself. I mean, this guy's work ethic is just unmatched. He dropped two mixtapes solo, an album, Dirty Sprite 2, and a joint mixtape with none other than Drake. And any song you hear on the radio or in the club, in the party, at a kickback, most likely Future is on the feature. Because if you want your song to pop, you got to have Future on your song. Now, following him, you got Drake, of course. He had a really good year. He dropped his mixtape or album, whatever you want to call it. He called it a mixtape. If you're reading this, it's too late. It was the first project to sell a million copies that was released this year. And of course, his beef with Meek Mill, I mean, he just murdered the guy. I'm not sure if Meek Mill even exists anymore. I know he's going to drop DS4, but who knows? And does anybody even care anymore? Now, outside the top five, it's a couple of names that's going to cause some controversy. You got Fetty Wap in there. Yes, Fetty Wap. He dropped multiple hits this year. My Way, Trap Queen, 679, and a few more. I mean, you can't deny his hit-making ability. And he has talent. He does. He's not the best lyricist in the world, but he knows how to make good songs, and that's a talent. Now, Young Thug is in there, too, at number six. Well, Young Thug, I actually feel like he's a really talented lyricist. It's just the fact that people can't understand what he says half the time. But you can't deny his hit-making ability. The guy makes bangers for sure. And then you got Ty Dolla Sign in there. It's good to see him finally get some love. He's been in the game for a while. Travis Scott, his rodeo album. You can tell it's not really rap per se, but it has a very unique sound. You can tell that he hangs around Kanye West a lot. It's a real big yay influence on that album. And then back to the top five, you got names like Kendrick Lamar, of course, J. Cole. But what about Big Sean? He's in there, number four. This guy showed a lot of development and growth this year with his album, Dark Sky Paradise. I advise you to listen to that. If you haven't, it's arguably the album of the year. He performed at halftime of the Detroit Lions game on Thanksgiving. Really big deal right there. But yeah, that's just a taste of my top ten. You can check it out in the article below. You can tweet me at Mark A. Gunnels, Facebook me, Instagram, all Mark A. Gunnels, and we can talk about it. I'm pretty sure it's going to be people that disagree, people that will agree. But hey, this is what it's all about. I'll be here next year doing the same thing for 2016. So yeah, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Mark A. Gunnels, and you guys have a happy new year.